afternoon, our friends out there. We are so excited to come to you today. How are you doing from Atlanta? Yeah, so we are out here. We're going to uh, do, let's go down this way and see what how we look down this way. Yeah. So we're going to walk down here. We're, we've got a very exciting topic for you guys. If you guys are watching right now, make sure that you listen with headphones because we're doing something really unique here. You're going to hear Dr. Ferrara talk in my right ear. So you want to say hello, Dr. Ferrara, so I can hear you in my how right ear. How y'all doing? Okay, you you're me? also going to hear my left ear. Say hello. Hello. See, so I want you guys to put on your headphones because you're going to hear everything that we hear just as loud as we hear it and you'll be able to visualize yourself physically being here with us to answer any questions that you guys may have about this you know we may need to turn around and go the other way Hawaii. because the uh, internet is a little bit challenging down here so thank you guys again so much for watching I think if we went up at the top we'll get a little bit more so we are out here walking right now and we want to talk about a very exciting topic today we're going to talk about poison ivy and I don't know if you saw some of the things that we have out there, but we'll try to put some pictures up there later on to show you guys exactly what poison ivy actually looks like so you guys could actually identify that. And so we want to make sure that you guys hear and see everything that we hear and see out here today. So please make sure you're listening with headphones and let us know if you can hear us with the headphones. You can hear all the sounds like cars about, around what, us. What about if there's no headphones? Can you still hear us? Oh, they can still hear us perfectly fine, but to he have the best sound, they want to have the headphones on because this is called 3D audio, what we're listening to right now. Okay. And so it's really unique. And so we want them to be able to hear about poison ivy by using 3D audio listening. So it'll sound, they can hear all the cars going by and everything. So Hopefully let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hopefully so, not the ambulances. Yeah, not the ambulances. You'll, you'll be able to hear that too. Or so fire yeah, fire trucks, out. ambulances, police cars, you'll hear it all. So let's talk about it. What, first of all, what is poison ivy? Well, poison ivy is just a, con a general term, layman terms, basically describe what we call contact dermatitis. It's a fa fancy medical term. Say that word again. Contact dermatitis. Okay. <laughs> and it's basically a fancy word for uh, basically allergic reaction to the skin is when something comes in contact with the skin and that particular part of the skin uh, reacts and usually it blisters and itching. Everybody, everybody calls it poison ivy because it tends to happen uh, mainly through the cedar in the summer. People are outside with, like we are, with shorts on, short sleeves, and they happen to walk through the parks or woods, and they happen to go by weeds. Uh, that's essentially what the ivy is. But it's not just poison ivy. Uh, poison ivy is just one of the many, many plants, especially in Georgia, uh, that carry a particular oil called ush oil, which doesn't make sense, but they, it doesn't really make difference, but they have this oil. Another kind of plant is called sumac, and there's other plants that have this, and there's, and then there's many, many species of these plants, and it's hard to know. Poison ivy, we're going to post pictures of what these plants look like. Absolutely. But the amazing thing, anything looks like weeds uh, or vines, stay away from. And uh, what happens is the, the oils from these plants come in contact, and then that particular part of the skin and that skin reacts within usually about a few hours to a day and you get a lot of itching what happens when you scratch and then the oil stays in your fingernails and then when you go take off your shirt you can find in the back of your hand if you touch somewhere else you, it's, that's how it spreads i see and so before you know you have it all over your body and uh, but it's also could be if you can go out camping a lot of times or sleeping bags or your jeans and you find that that you put on those jeans again or they touch your skin or the shoes shoelaces mm -hmm. and they touch your hands and fingers so you have to be very careful because not just uh, that that oil can stay in your clothes that's washed really really well for, for sometimes for months wow and so yeah. if you guys have questions about poison ivy today we are out here talking about poison ivy we're talking about we'll talk about ways to treat poison ivy um, and some things that you guys we want to hear some of the questions that you have so, about so this topic. summer safety you know this is safety month this month so it goes along with just things that to protect yourself you know basically you know make sure that you stay when you touch plants um, you know make sure you know what you're touching and stay away from weeds and ivies uh, any anything like that but also make sure you you wash take a very good shower with soap and water 
because the treatment for the itching is obviously if you're anything like uh, Benadryl a lot of times over-the-counter like Benadryl lotion really doesn't help they sell creams that can help with the itching and one of the best ones actually solar cane which is just for sun uh, for sun uh, uh, burns okay however it has lidocaine in it, which sort of numbs up the skin so it takes away a little of the itching but the ultimate treatment is steroids is prednisone by mouth okay if you leave it alone poison ivy or as it's called poison ivy kind of dermatitis it will um last two three weeks will go away by itself okay just leaving it alone yeah, just leave it alone you, okay but if you want immediate relief within six hours you treat steroids and by day five it's gone some people prefer the shot to going for a steroid shot but in reality you can have a um just pills high dose steroids for five days it works really really well okay so i would go see your doctor so if you guys are just now tuning in right now thank you so much for tuning in we're talking about poison ivy today and ways to deal with poison ivy i'm sure everybody has been has come to contact with that some type of way uh whether when you were younger or when you're outside doing outside, everybody comes in contact at some point and then uh, the main thing once you do get it avoid from spreading other places your body cut your nails and wash underneath the fingers really really spend a good i tell my patients 30 minutes scrubbing your fingers so you're not spreading it a lot of the things that give you contact dermatitis i'm sure a lot of wait a minute men experience it with metal some kind of metal jewelry to watch or a ring that's also a form of uh, contact dermatitis wow and the reaction the reason you give steroids and pills it's not really on the skin it's underneath the skin so you have that's why steroids you give a mouth or shot has to go through the bloodstream to fix it. Wow. If you guys are watching this right now, we are in black and white. You see Dr. Ferrara in his cool sunglasses. <laughs> although, although it's cloudy a little bit. It's a little cloudy, but he still has his cool sunglasses on. So if you guys are out here watching this, yeah. say hi to us. Let us know you're watching because we can't see everybody who's yeah. watching right now. But say hi to us and ask questions about poison ivy. Let us know, is, is this something that you had concerns about? Because this is, what typically is the season for poison ivy? Is it spring Actually, summer. Or, yeah, uh, or summer? Summer is usually the season of fall. Okay. But you can get it any time of the year because that vine never dies. But like I said, there's other plants. There's even uh, common Christmas plants. You know, sometimes people bring Christmas plants, Christmas trees at home. Okay. You can get a contact dermatitis. Um, a lot of times people get it from uh, makeup or uh, wow. suntan, okay. suntan lotion. Okay. Uh, hair dye. People like color their hair. I've seen people come in and the whole, it's almost like having poison ivy on the scalp and the face, whatever that dye drip down. Wow. So you can get, um, even from we'll clothes, down. Okay. from certain detergents. And so, but the main thing we see it a lot is- So it doesn't have to come from a, a plant? No, it doesn't have to come from a plant, but the main thing, but we see it a lot is though, it is a plant in the summer. Kids go out and play. Right. They go out in the yard, they go to the park. And they're not realizing that a lot of plants have that. Okay. And, uh, even plants that are not even poison ivy, they have it? Yep, yep, yep. How, so poison ivy I've never heard of that. Yeah, so Sumac is another one. And, and all they have to do is basically carry this oil, particularly they all have in common, the particular actual oil on the plant. Okay. That they come in contact with. Uh, so kids, you know, they go out there and play in the grass or playing their sports and things like that. All this weed, all they have to do is run into it, just touch it. Uh, a lot of times you go through the woods and right. Georgia would be very green. Uh, you just you know just go as you cut through it and get rid of these vines, you're touching it. Right. If you so, guys are just now tuning in right now, we're talking about poison ivy. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. We are out here yes, walking. So it's not particular, so I'll just look over. I know what a poison ivy look like, which we're gonna post later the pictures. Right. Uh, so it's not just oh here are the pictures and this is how you how you fix it. It, um, it there's a m multiple plants. I would and probably it's too much trouble to go through every single plant for some silicate okay, to identify them. Just be aware when you're out there. You know, maybe wear socks and shoes and avoid touching your hands. Okay, so, so if you guys are out there right now watching us, we're talking about um, poison ivy. So listen to us with headphones on because uh, we're using 3D audio today. So make sure that you're watching us with headphones on because you'll be able to hear all the sounds just like we hear them. It'll be like you're live right here walking with us yep. and talking with us so and it's, it is it is um it is let's go that way We're okay building. it is it is annoying because of the itching it is just uh, the, the itching is relentless and you can get away with just like i said taking benadryl which will make you drowsy you can use some calamine lotion and goes away within 
really goes away about three weeks. It all goes away. Okay. As long as you avoid that same contact. So if you if you scratch it a little bit more, does it get worse? Well, you spread it other parts of the skin because then when you scratch, you scratch beyond right. the point. Right. I see. So you spread it a little bit worse there. I see. So you get all these lines of blisters, but um, I said just good hygiene of your fingers. Uh huh. And then steroids. It's like magic. Six hours later. Okay. You're much much better. Wow. And that's the one time we say definitely come see your doctor or in urgent care. And so we are out here today. We are walking. And so we decided to do a lot of walking instead of just sitting down. Right. We talk about health. We might as well get out here you know, and get some extra steps in, you know? You know, it's interesting that, you know, <laughs> how much does, uh, walking helps. I was in um, Europe last week, and I would say I probably literally walked 8 to 10 miles per day and some days more. Wow. I refused to take really cabs or rent a car mm -hmm. and, uh, and I ate a lot of food okay drank some good wine and I tell you I came back I lost weight I had lost two pounds you look like you lost some weight too yeah so I lost some weight so uh, I've talked about uh, being healthy and I felt really good I still went to work out every morning so it's interesting we're talking that here there's no place for us to walk right which in, way we're going uh, let's go around this okay way. Feels like a little rain out here yeah, too. So in Europe, just the streets aren't built to walk, but it was not unusual to walk one hour to dinner okay. and walk an hour and a half back. Wow! And I literally uh, one night I literally I was far away to say you know I, I'm not gonna take cab, and um, and even though it was late, I walked two hours to get back to my place, and it was nice. It was a nice walk. Granted, you know some Asian streets of Europe here nobody does that. Wow! So I tried to. At least in my personal life here, even I try to walk everywhere I can. Right. So if you guys are watching us right now, we're talking about poison ivy, and we're out here doing some walking because we always talk about health. So we want to be healthy ourselves and get some extra steps in. So this does help, believe it or not, because, I, again, I have to say the stat that you always say before. If you walk 30 minutes a day for seven days, every day, every day you're going to prolong your life by 10 years. You prolong your life by 10 years. So I have to say that. I love when you say yeah, that. And, and it's... It's a simple thing, just 30 minutes a day. And other, other things it does, you know, don't smoke. Right. Don't abuse drugs. Right. Um, it, uh, wear a helmet, do bicycle ride or ride a uh, motorcycle uh, or ski, and always have your seatbelt on, and that's definitely will prolong your life. If you guys are watching this right now, make sure you have your headsets on because you can hear the, Dr. Ferrara in my left ear, so... Uh, you'll be able to hear all what he's saying and it'll sound like he's right next to you so let me know if you can hear that put a thumbs up or let us know just tell us because I, I don't know if you could hear that but you'll hear him in uh, my left ear as he talks because he's on my left side and we're using 3d audio so it'll sound like he's right there in your ear as well so this is new so I want is that technology you have to love it <laughs> we love technology so we always want to do something new to be innovative uh, to bring to you guys so that we can always stay uh, in the forefront of technology because I think it's important for when it comes to health technology You know a lot of technology that we're using like I use the um, Apple steps, you know, so I check my steps every day be right, right. with that. So um, again, we love technology for health reasons. We love technology for um, to, to make life easier and and more efficient I would say other things we talk about health, you know, when you go outside you know, you, It's actually wear sunscreen. It's amazing. Oh, she says she can hear it sun. all sounds good. Awesome. Well, thank you. We, we, we love that. Uh, that's why we're doing it for you guys to hear the, all the sounds that we hear out here. You can hear Dr. Ferrara in your left ear. You should hear him in your left ear. So go ahead and say what you say so they can hear you in, in your left ear. No, what I'm saying is that also if you're going to be out there with uh, less clothes on there and shorts and t-shirts is wear sunscreen. It's, even though you're going to be out there for half an hour, an hour, two hours, uh, one, you avoid sunburns. Uh, so, and also, long term, you're going to avoid skin cancer. Okay. You know, it seems like nothing go out there for two hours ago for a walk in the woods, but just wear sunscreen. It does, it does help. And also, if you're going to be by a pool for an afternoon, you go to a party, wear sunscreen. Because otherwise, you're going to be miserable for a week later with a very bad sunburn. Wow. And that's, an, again, safety tips to help. And also, in weather like this, although today's not that bad, is stay hydrated. Right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, people don't realize how hot it really is. Right. And uh, they they don't don't hydrate themselves, and the next thing they know, whatever activity they were doing, they have to cut it short. Right. Sometimes you know it's nice. To, we're talking about going for a walk. We have the belt line here, but it's interesting to watch people as they're just walking. You see them sort of, you can tell being tired, yeah, and sitting down. Right. And I, I attribute that to being not just not in shape, but just 
hydration. Wow. So, but the main topic today we discussed is poison ivy. Uh, it is preventable, just know the plants, avoid, it's not just poison, the, the particular poison ivy, there's other plants that carry the same item, the oil that will give you contact dermatitis, give you the rash, and it's easy to fix uh, with steroids. And if you guys are watching right now, share this video, share this video and let your friends see exactly what you're watching as well because a lot of people have questions about poison ivy and things like that and Dr. Barber gave a lot of information for you guys that are just now tuning in uh, so they'll be able to see everything that we, he talked about uh, just a few minutes ago and please share this video with with friends out here it's starting to rain out here you guys could probably see us you guys see see in here the rain that we're in it's gonna be like five minutes yeah it's gonna be uh, it, it won't minutes. last long yeah, it won't last long enough. yeah so so share this video let us know you're gonna share this video because it's important um, is, is the low carbs, high fat way of healthy if you don't have diabetes lifestyle? Is a low carbs, high fat? Do uh, you see that question up there? Uh, Can you? See, it was. It's, yeah, we'll we'll answer that question in just a second. That was a great question. A very good question. Is, if you don't have diabetes, is, I don't have it. I don't see it. Uh, hit your um, hit your play, and you'll see it. Hit your play at the top of the, on the picture. Oh yeah. And you should see that uh, come up in just a second. Go back. Scroll to your left again. Okay. Is your feature so there's know, a new feature carb, that yeah, allows to invite friends I know if it's healthy i mean you have to have some kind of protein in your diet so it definitely helps you lose weight um we talked about weight loss before but it definitely helps you to eat weight but you got to have you know it is healthy but you got to have some kind of protein and things some kind of carbs um in fact your diet is it's not that bad i mean it's, it's not unhealthy but you, you definitely need some carbs Okay, awesome, awesome. So please feel free to put your questions up there, and Dr. Ferrara does answer a lot of questions, even even if you send them later. Even if you send them later, he does answer questions. I I see them when he when they come up, he'll answer all questions that come up. So please share this on your Facebook page and let your friends know about this particular topic because a lot of people do have questions about poison ivy. And you have any final words to say about the poison ivy, just in general? Nope, nope. Just uh, share this video, and we got as much information as you ever need. And let us know if you like Dr. Ferrara's cool glasses too. <laughs> I'll tell you where I got them. <laughs> let us let let us know where'd you get your glasses from? Actually, I bought them off a street vendor in uh, in Rome. Oh, you bought them in Rome. So yeah, see, that's why I knew I knew they look cool in the original. <laughs> see, so he bought them from a street vendor in Rome. So that's awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. Uh, we are excited to see you guys put your questions up there and please share this video and let your friends know also to watch the video as well So like I said, if you go back and watch this video later on make sure you put your headphones on because we're using special technology So that you can hear all the sounds that we hear uh, Just as we hear them, whether it's cars going by whether it's dr. Ferrara talking in your left ear uh, They say very cool about your classes. So <laughs> So thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will be back on next week as well Sounds So please yep. put your questions up there all right, All right, you want to say bye to everybody? Goodbye, everybody. All right, you heard him in your left ear. How about the right ear? Okay, try, try it in your right ear. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Let us know if you heard it in your right ear as well, guys. Ciao. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.